think about moving to Capel, Texas, on today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the town known as Capel. And that adventure starts now. If this is your first time on the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you'll be notified of any and all changes to the market here in North Texas. My name is Marina Franco. I'm with the Living in North Texas team, and we get calls, emails every day from people like you needing help moving to North Texas. And you know what? We love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or better yet, let's set up a Zoom call so we can help make your move to North Texas a smooth one. First off, you may notice I'm wearing sunglasses. Yay! Um, I know this whole time, this whole summer, no sunglasses, staring out into the sun, um, I'm trying out contacts, uh, or some new contacts, I should say, and um, yeah, so that allows me to uh, wear sunglasses. Yes, I know I can get sunglasses, prescri prescription sunglasses, but um, this is a little easier, so um, I don't have to worry if they get lost, right? <laughs> okay, so where am I today? I am actually in Capel, Texas, so um, little playground. I'm actually in their farmer's market, or the Capel Square. Um, you see they got this fountain you can play run through um, it's a little warm today who knows I might try it um, <laughs> but you know I am here during the week so there's nobody here right now but every Saturday the whole year through um, you will find it here and uh, like that you can see Capel Farmers Market and there's a whole bunch of other things besides the farmer's market. There's a few restaurants, there's a coffee shop back there. In fact, there is a restaurant at the very front that is a 50 style restaurant and they have one of the better breakfasts I've, I've ever had. So come check them out. All right, so Capel, let me tell you a little bit about Capel. Oh, let me tell you a few other things about the square. The uh, Capel Art Center is also right here. I'm gonna walk over to it so you guys can see. They, um, this is the hall. This is where they have the farmer's market. Um, you'll find vendors outside. You'll find vendors inside. You'll find, you know, produce vendors. You'll find honey, pickles, uh, stuff for pets, clothing, all different types of vendors. And one other good thing or great thing about the square are there are houses lined all around the square. I'm going to show you here in a second as soon as I walk past this building. You can see some houses behind me, and they pretty much um, circle the square. So if you're looking for, uh, you know, kind of a really cool place to live, this area of Capel, I mean, all of Capel is really cool. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, Capel has about 42,000 people that live here, and, you know, you would not think that many people lived here. It definitely has a small town feel. Uh, one thing you're going to notice when you drive through Capel is that you're not going to find um, retail signs that are up in the sky, right? Think about, uh, I'll give you an example. There's a McDonald's here. Yes, they do have McDonald's here. And normally you'll see the golden arches way up tall to go, oh, there it is. Let's go over there. Uh, but not here. All, the majority of the signs are down on the ground or low to the ground, um, and that gives it that small town feel. It, um, but super friendly people that live here, that's one of the reasons people really like being here. They have a really good school district, another reason why people like being here. It is very close to the airport. In fact, its neighbor is Grapevine. So you're mere minutes from the airport, which makes it another one of those destinations that people really like to be at because it's very close to get to DFW. Um, you know, it has some retail shopping. It does have some grocery stores. You know, it has things like that, but you're not going to find big big time shopping, if you know what I mean. And, you know, you're going to find some restaurants. You're going to find some mom and pop restaurants here. But it's just got a really nice, cool vibe. Now, stay tuned. I am going to show you one of the higher end homes. Capel is known for having, you know, a little bit of the upper end homes out here. So uh, stay till the end so you can see that. 
and uh, leave me a comment. What do you think about the sunglasses? Yes or no? <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to drive around the square and show you around, but um, after that, I'll meet you at the first house. See you then. Okay, y'all, we are at house number one. Now, this one is a rare phone. Okay, y'all, we are at house number one. Now, this one is a rare find, and I'm going to tell you why. This guy is 459900 That's right. It is, and this is right behind me, it is under 500000 Now, remember I said earlier that Capel does tend to be on the higher end of the market um, as far as the cities are concerned. And being under 500000 and in great condition is a very rare find here at Capel. Now this guy is a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage. It is 1717 square feet and it was built in 1983. So that's the thing, you're not gonna find a whole slew of new, new homes in Capel. Most of them are going to be 80s, 90s, early 2000s. Will there be some here or there? Yes, that are new, um, but those again are very rare in Capel. Uh, one thing I do want you to check out, you know, I'm going to do the neighborhood, but you know, this there's no HOA in this neighborhood, and yet it looks like it does have an HOA. The houses are kept up, the yards for the most part, only because it's been a one heck of a summer with the heat being over 100 degrees about 50 days out of the three months that we've had um, summer <laughs> and so some of the grass unfortunately has not survived it will come back but um, but you see that there's a lot of pride of ownership in this neighborhood and a lot of the neighborhoods here in Capel. So they are very good. Capel, the city of Capel is very good at uh, making sure that everyone is taking care of their homes. So one other thing I wanted to let everyone know that uh, one thing also about Capel is they do have a lot of businesses in here. Because they're very close to the airport, you're going to see um, warehouses. But the way they've done the city as that the majority of the warehouses are closer to the airport side so they're not necessarily intermingled with communities or housing and stuff like that so again giving you that really nice small town feel in the neighborhoods all right so we're gonna drive around but you know i'll meet you at the next one
Court House number two. Now this guy is 665,000. It is a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, 2234 square feet and built in 1989. There it is right behind me. All right, so this one is in an HOA neighborhood. And this guy does have a pool, which is nice. And um, it is very close to a pond or big, I should say big pond. I don't even want to call it a pond, but it's not quite a lake. What is in between a pond and a lake? Leave me a comment below if you know what that is. So um, it is just mere within walking distance of this um, large pond, small lake where there are walking trails and um, biking, hiking, that whole thing, right? So that's the other thing, you know, there's lots to do, lots of parks here in Capel. Um, lots of playgrounds and parks for you to bring your kiddos, grand kiddos, uh, pet kiddos. <laughs> um, so that, that's the thing, Capel really wants this um, city to be, you know, um, well, I want to say family friendly, but families come in many different shapes and sizes and not everybody has, you know, the kids and stuff like that. So if you're single, if you're without kids, if you're um, older adults, Capel is just as good for you as it is for a family. All right, so let's take a look around and uh, you know what to do. I'll see you at the next one. everyone weird house number three now this guy is 1.795 million it is a four bedroom three and a half bath three car garage it is 4383 square feet and it was built in 2012 now the thing about this house um, that's really nice besides it looks beautiful right is it does sit on 0.6 acres and it's within a cul-de-sac so this is just an example of one of the many 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 high high-end homes out here in Capel um, even though Capel does have a very good variety of homes um, you know you'll find some in the lower threes um, those guys though unfortunately are more mostly fixer-uppers so if you're looking for an investment property definitely want to check out those um, but you're going to find you know 500,000 and over you know a million this guy is million seven so you'll definitely find even more than that and again what what is great about Capel is it's close to the airport it has that small town feeling with super friendly people and it's just a really really nice place to live. All right, everyone, that is everything about Capel. If you have any questions about the city or any city here in North Texas, you know what to do. You know how to get a hold of me. But until next time, I'll see you around the neighborhood.